Okay, on my YouTube channel, I have a video called the C++ This Pointer, and I had an excellent question posted on it by, I don't even want to try to pronounce your name, because then I'd sound like a total fool, but I can say the last name, Kumar. Uh, forgive me and my ignorance, my cultural ignorance. But anyway, I have one doubt, like we say, this pointer is a const pointer prototype. Is class name const this? And in your code, sometimes it points to Betsy, and sometimes it points to Georgie. Basically, you're changing the content of this pointer. So how can it be a const pointer? This is an excellent question and actually got me thinking of an example I give as far as this pointer goes. And I haven't posted a video on it, so that's what I'm going to do here. But first of all, I want to address the uh, the prototype here. This pointer is a const pointer. Prototype is class name pointer const this. Now I know I have a video talking about pointer and const and that kind of thing somewhere on my channel. You can look that up. But I'm going to explain that concept again here and then I'm also going to give a different example regarding this that I think will really drive home what the this pointer is if you're still confused. But first of all, let's let's address this class name const this. I've gone to the effort of creating the cow I have in that video and this cow has a maximum number of heartbeats and max heartbeats is max beats that we pass into the constructor and I probably should probably make all of this public like so and I'm gonna hit control shift uh, left angle bracket zoom out a little bit let's uh, make a cow cow and I'll put Betsy here and Betsy is now defined on the stack the RAM for Betsy is on the stack and I also obviously have to pass in the number of heartbeats as well but now Betsy is a cow. Um, Betsy takes up four bytes on my machine because this cow only has a single integer in it like so. And then I can create a pointer to Betsy right here. And, and remember this is a, when I go up in here and I say, hey, this arrow, this is a pointer to the current instance, which, okay, cool, whatever, Jamie. But let me go down here and say cow uh, pointer B PTR is Betsy pointer. Sure, in fact, I'll even say it. Betsy pointer. And that's going to get the address of Betsy, like so. Now, going back to the comment here, look at the, the prototype here. In fact, I'm actually going to copy this and just paste it right here in a comment. It says class name pointer const this. Notice the position of const here. All right, it comes after the class name. Right? It's not coming before. It's not const class name pointer. It's class name pointer const this. All right. So watch what happens when I, I, I I'm going to come over here and I'm going to drop that const after the asterisk. All right. Const right there. And I'll hit Control Shift B. Build. Build started. Build succeeded. So, 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 so what's going on here? All right. What does it mean to syntactically type a const there? All right. Let me. Let me mess with your mind a little bit more. I'm going to say const right there as well. Control Shift B, build succeeded. Whoa! Ho, 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 ho. There's a const here and there's a const there. What, what is going on? <laughs> and first of all, to address the actual question, I think that's what I'm going to answer right now is, is I have a... There, there's a difference between putting const over here and const over there. All right, let me get my drawing tool handy. All right, so Betsy pointer here. I'm going to actually draw a RAM. I'm going to make an attempt at drawing RAM. This is our stack, right? That's the bottom of our stack. And then we got the heap out here. All right, well, I would never say new anywhere. I never put anything out there on the heap. So we're not even going to use the heap, all right? But, but generally when we talk RAM, there's stack and heap. And I, want to just, I just drew the heap to say, hey, you know what, there is a heap, but we're not using it because Betsy here is defined to be on the stack. So when I say cow Betsy, here's Betsy. What's Betsy made of? It's made up of one int, okay, max heartbeats, and it looks like we set that to five via the constructor, so this becomes five. And then I say, hey, give me a pointer to Betsy. Well, that's another four bytes on my machine, all right? And this pointer is pointing to Betsy on the stack, I say, hey, Betsy pointer gets the address of Betsy, which is sitting on the stack. Now, I certainly could have instantiated Betsy out on the heap, but I didn't. It doesn't really matter for what we're doing here. Let me get rid of all this now. All right, so 
So I have this this Betsy pointer. What can I do with the Betsy pointer? All right, Betsy pointer. I'm going to say, uh, hey, Max Heartbeats, you're going to get a little bit more. We want you to last a little bit longer. We want to see if we can get some more meat out of you when we butcher you, that kind of thing. So we're going to, oh, wait a minute. I got a red squiggly. What does the red squiggly mean? Let me hover over here. Hmm. Expression must be a modifiable L value. <clears throat> now, I don't have a video on L values and R values, but basically, I, don't worry about the L value part. What it's saying is you cannot modify max heartbeats because it's const. All right, but which const determines whether I can modify max heartbeats? All right, is it this one or is it this one? Does it matter? Well, it certainly does matter. Watch what happens. I'm going to, first of all, let's build this. Control Shift B. Let me just prove to you we get a compile error. All right, now I'm going to come down here and I will eliminate this const. All right, let's try building again. Control Shift B. Hey, we still get the error, right? And even IntelliSense is indicating the error. I'm going to just get rid of IntelliSense because I, I just want to see the compile errors. But the compiler's like, hey, you cannot modify max heartbeats. Okay, well, what if I drop the const over here, but then I get rid of this const? Control Shift B. Build. Hey, build succeeded. All right, what what changed? What changed? Well, let me let me, let me tell you. When you say const here. You're saying that what the pointer is pointing to, let me just put a 1 right here. When you say const here, what the pointer is pointing to, that's const. You cannot modify what the pointer is pointing at. All right? I cannot modify max heartbeats because that's a member of Betsy right here. And you said that this pointer is const, meaning you, you cannot modify it. All right? But when you... Uh, let me get green here. When you say const here, number two, what you're saying is the pointer is const. All right, you cannot change this pointer to point at anything else. All right, the pointer is now whatever it's pointing at, it's stuck. You cannot move it. You cannot increment it. You can, you can't do anything. All right, let me let me see if I can demonstrate here. Let me erase this and erase erase that there, and let me put the one back here for your reference. All right, I showed you already that if I, if I take this const out, like so, then I can modify the max heartbeats. This Betsy object that the pointer is pointing to is no longer constant. I can I can modify that. Okay, that's fine. All right, but but if I take this, well, well, first of all, before I take this const out, let me comment this out. Okay, I'm going to. Well, we'll leave that there, and I'll take this const out. Uh, let, let's focus on this const here, the const that comes after the pointer, which comes after the pointer in the comment here in my question. Um, watch what happens. I, I'm gonna let's make Georgie. All right, I believe in that video I made a Georgie, Georgie and his max heartbeats. Let's keep him around for a while. And now I'm gonna say, hey Betsy pointer, you're going to get the address of Georgie. All right, so I've defined Georgie here on the stack. Let me just put Georgie here. Here's Georgie. All right, I'll put a B here for Betsy and a G here for Georgie. And Georgie, his max heartbeats is 5,000. Very cool. And then, oh, look, look, what's this right here? Betsy PTA, oh, of course it's not. Betsy, P Betsy Pointer. Betsy PTR Expression must be a modifiable L value. <laughs> Alright, I cannot change this pointer. Here's the here's the bad thing. This this pointer that's pointing at Betsy, this Betsy pointer is stuck pointing at Betsy. I, the, since I've put the const out here, I cannot make the Betsy pointer point at a different cow. Alright, this is illegal. Alright, I can't modify what that's pointing to because I said const right here. Alright, so let me let me go down here and I'll control shift B, build this. You can see, ah, oh, you can't assign it. It's, it's const. The pointer is const. All right, but if I take this const out, all is well. I can control shift B, and sure enough, that succeeds, and, and I can make the Betsy pointer point at Georgie, though that doesn't make any sense. As far, if I'm going to call it Betsy pointer, it should point at Betsy. Anyway, so that's what const means after the pointer. Now... Let me just illustrate this as far as this goes. All right, if we're down in here, we have this this that just shows up, and I showed in the C++ 
this pointer video that that it's pointing to the current object and I showed some addresses and things like that and and, and that's fine what you can't do uh, going back to this is defined to be like this let me go up here and drop that again just for our reference but again the this pointer I can modify data like max heartbeats and change it up that's fine what I'm pointing at is not constant I can modify that object what I cannot do is say, hey, you know what, this, let's, uh, let's, let, let's have a point to some other cow. <laughs> what does that even mean? I mean, it's, it's, this object is now another object, but there's still that old object in RAM. And uh, the, 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 see, and now it's saying, hey, cow, star, you see the star there? Cons this, assignment to this, anachronism. What is an anachronism? I don't even know. Let me, let me Google that. Let me uh, I'll bring this up and go right here. Hopefully it's not a term that's going to bring up some bad things on my laptop. Anachronism from Greek is a chronological inconsistency in some arrangement, which is which is true if you think about it. Here's our cow instance. All right, it has one in max heartbeats for five, will be five for Betsy, and and this this is pointing to that, and and somehow I'm going to point it to a new one yeah that doesn't make sense all right so there you go that's why that's in relationship to the question here it's saying in your code sometimes it points to Betsy and sometimes it points to Georgie well I'm going to answer that particular question in the next video that I do but I also wanted to make sure that we understand that this the const after the star means I cannot change the this pointer um, in the next video I'll show you though uh, why this sometimes can point to Betsy and sometimes it will point to Georgie.